we'll be getting to that very soon. Trust me, we'll be getting to that one very soon. Let me just talk about another film that I just saw recently called Ma, starring Octavia Spencer, and was directed by the same person who had done The Help and The Girl on the Train. I actually don't really know what to say about this one here. I saw it mainly because it looked quite funny from the marketing and advertising. It was sort of out there. I was like laughing unintentionally there for a second. So that's why I saw it because it just looked utterly hilarious. Even if the film itself uh, didn't quite fulfill the promises that I was thinking in my head it was going to be. In many ways, the best way to explain this movie is like misery. It's... um. It's very similar to that film or Serial Mom in terms of its weird, darkly comic elements and sort of, uh, you know, I'm going to help you out. I'm your best friend and I'm going to kill you. Sort of premise about it with the sort of benevolent turned malevolent type of uh, female figure in the narrative. So that's what it has going for it. But I would say, you know, Misery was a very classic film. Mars very much trying to be that. And it succeeds in some ways up until the very ending, which you're like left wondering... So we waited for all of that to happen, and all that chaos, and then this turns on a dime, like, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> a 10p, uh, you'll be like, oh. But personally, I think the uh, charm of it is the fact that, because I saw a film that came out a few months ago that was uh, from the same people who produced this, called Us. That was Jordan Peele's movie. It will also be one of these fluffy bunny things from, you know, Toy Story 4. He done that movie, and you know both films are quite similar in the regards that they're from Blumhouse and also involve uh, black lead characters. Mars the better one out of the two, but I think um, what us didn't have, Ma did, and it was the sort of relatable uh, elements of the narrative. Uh, both have the sort of flashback elements of the female character seeing something traumatic in her past life, and she you now she turns you know, against that or fights against it. But Ma is more effective because it sort of has that weird self-knowing... <laughs> you know you want to laugh at Octavia Spencer being sassy, don't you? So we got that instead. Us was funny, but only, you know, few and far between. And the whole premise of doppelgangers and hands across America didn't quite reach in the same aspect for me as much as watching a uh, middle-aged woman uh, attacking people for no... <laughs> because of something that happened in a past event. I just thought that was just... The best way to just enjoy this is to sort of come in with an open mind. Don't watch the advertising or marketing. Just sort of laugh at for it for what it is. They said, you know, the review said that this movie is quite cat. And it definitely fills that aspect about it. In the same way, you could say about that Mommy Dearest film that was about Joan Crawford. No! No! Yes! Just seeing that regard, but don't be saying you're sorry after you've seen that ending, because the ending itself and the sort of rushed aspects about it might make you hate this film. And I don't really like to say I hate a movie, but, you know, sometimes, some films, they can go so well, and then they can go so low. It's a mixed sort of bad. That's kind of how I felt with this one. Maybe times might change, and I might think it's a much better film as time goes on, but for now... Just wait out on this one. You don't have to see it at the cinema. If it plays on TV or something or on streaming, uh, feel free to give this shot. This is Skinny, but sorry enough. Until next time, keep on watching.